Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how you can insert a new column in Microsoft Excel using a macro and macro code. We're going to start off this tutorial from scratch. I've put a table on the page just so you can see visually what this is going to do. Now if you haven't worked with macros before, you will need to do a couple of other steps before you start on this. You will need to first of all enable macros to run and you will also need to enable the developer tab on the ribbon. I have done tutorials on how to do this they will be linked in the description below so please if you haven't done this already go down and follow those tutorials they're also on the website once you've done that please come back. So we'll make a start what you need to do first of all is go over to the developer tab and we need to insert a button first of all or a command button to do this we go to insert from insert we navigate to active x control so this is the second of the uh, options here you want to select the top left option which is a command button now when you do this your mouse pointer will turn into crosshairs what you need to do is draw on your spreadsheet a button. You can change this size and shape and location later on so don't worry too much about it. Now when you do this this will automatically put you into design mode so don't worry about that you want to be in design mode for the next step. Double click on your button and this will open up where you can insert the code that will be executed when the button is pressed. We're going to paste some code in here. Now don't worry about trying to read this off the screen. This will be available in the description below and it will also be available on the website as well. This is our code. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to explain it for you. Now we paste this code between the sub, the private sub and the end sub like this. And I'm just going to pop a space before just so you can see this a bit more clearly. This is the code that is going to insert a new column. Now, first of all, I'm going to explain exactly how this works because this is a bit new. So, first of all, our first line is Sheets and Sheet 1. Now, Sheet 1 is the sheet that you are working from. As you can see down here, the sheet I'm working on is called sheet 1 which is why that is therefore called sheet 1 if you was working on something that it does have a different sheet name you would have to edit that there then our range is where you want the new column to be inserted so in this example what will happen is D this entire column D will move over completely it will leave a gap between C and D our new column will be created here so you reference where you want your new column to be inserted. Okay? Ignore the rest of the code. It doesn't need to be altered. The, what, what is between the parentheses is what you might need to enter if you're doing something a little bit different in terms of your target cells. I'm going to close this down and we're going to run our button. So we come out of design mode. Okay? And when we press our button, a new row, a new column, should I say, will appear here. So C would be would shift D over basically like this. Okay. Can you see that there? That we've now got a gap and a new column. That's how you do this in your own macros. There are loads of applications for this in your different macros you might be using. So I hope this has helped. If you have struggled to follow anything on here please refer to the website. There's quite a few more guides that I've put on recently and there's also a beginner's guide if you are confused by anything that we've covered. I hope that's helped. If it has, please like or subscribe and I'll see you next time.